Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin, even though my weather widget's going to say Rosendale, the lines are very similar. It is a beautiful June day. In fact, I think the weather widget I just looked at said it's 63 degrees. And for June, I'm loving this. I'm loving Wisconsin because this is just incredible weather. And you can hear some birds. What I've got on the stand today is the Webra T440 engine yet again, but this time since we're outdoors um, and it's got a few tanks on it, now I can get some tack readings. What I also have is a whole handful of different props. So what I want to do here is I'm going to run several different props on this thing and see what kind of RPM readings we're getting. Now on the review articles of this engine it says that this engine can handle a wide variety of props and the prop that I've got in here first is the last prop that I used which is an 11.5. I've got an 11.8, got an 11, another 11.5 APC which probably won't use, a 10.6 wood prop and a 12.6. I definitely want to try that and an 11.6. So I'm not entirely sure. I want to kind of go with some small ones. I'll probably start with this one, go to the 10.6 and then maybe the 12.6 or 11.8. But I want to get some different readings here and see how this engine runs and uh, just have a little bit of fun. Oh, another thing that's different. Last time I had always been running this engine with an OSF plug. I went online and I actually found a vendor in California Hobby Club, I believe it is, out of Elisa Viejo, California. And they actually sold Weber number four plugs. So I bought two of those, one for each of the engines I've got. I put that number four plug in this engine. Now I know there's different heat ranges of glow plugs. And you can never really tell the heat range by the way it operates, I don't believe. But I kind of go by how the element looks when I'm holding it on a nice starter. In this number four, it didn't really, I don't recall if it said the heat range, but it didn't look like it, the element got as bright as the OSF plug and certainly not as bright as an OS uh, number eight plug for two stroke. So that's the only other thing that's different. I've still got about 5% uh, nitro fuel here and that Weber number four plug and the Zinger 11.5 and that's how we're gonna start this. Props out of the way. Let's give this thing full throttle and prime it. And it's primed. I need to go grab my tachometer.
Let's fire this thing up one more time with this prop, then we'll train another one. throttle set or stop screw if it's got one on here I don't know that it does really might it might be way underneath this carb here obviously I don't have the low speed for the throttle stop set correctly to get a low idle without it dying off here but um, I'm gonna pause the camera here and put a different prop on okay so I've got a 10.6 on here this time and I'm also nowhere saying that this engine is close to being fully broken in either because I'm not not saying that at all Okay, let's try a different prop. Okay, this one is an APC 11.8 prop. That was good for that prop. Okay, the final prop is a Zinger 12.6. So let's see what it, how it does with this prop. I'm not sure I'm really impressed with this glow plug.
Okay, so that was a successful run, several runs here with some different props. Um, I think we saw a wide variety of RPM ranges, even though this engine isn't fully broken in from the 10.6 to getting close to 10,000 to this 12.6 where it was really only touching about maybe 7,300 RPM. So it can operate pretty well in a wide variety of RPM ranges with different prop sizes. Now the one thing that's just, I think it's just a characteristic of this engine is that it leaks. It, I mean, obviously the crankcase isn't completely sealed with just this belt cover on here. So it's open. So there's going to be oil coming out of there. It, it's got oil, not fuel, but it's got oil that comes out of this intake manifold at the junction to the, the carb also. So it's, it has a lot of fuel that comes, or not fuel, a lot of oil that comes out from various places. In fact, I don't know that I'm seeing much of anything coming out of this breather vent at all because it's coming out the least, <laughs> the path of least resistance, which pretty much is right around here. And for some reason on that um, intake manifold, I need to get up, take that thing off and seal it with some Teflon tape and see if that helps. But I mean, the engine runs really well. Um, it has some transition issues, which I was doing my low speed pinch test and it seems like it's, the idle is set fine. So I don't know if that's the plug um, or if it's just the way this engine is and it just doesn't transition crisply. But it's a nice, nice engine, nice running engine, and I like it a lot. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this thing run once again and seeing some different RPM readings from it.